Hello again guys, and welcome back to my... Hello again guys, and welcome back to my... Welcome back to my broadcast of Star Wars The Old Republic. We'll be rejoining my lovely Sith Warrior. He's just got his uh, lightsaber. And uh, I feel like he wants to kick some ass. Waiting for this to load. If I die, I'm going to haunt you. Better check I still have a lot of parts. God damn, why does it keep minimizing? It's really annoying. I do apologize. Badass Sith Warrior here, he's got his lightsaber. <coughs> Everybody loves a lightsaber. So level nine. It's cool. I mean, there's one more level, and I get my juggernaut. I mean, me a juggernaut, bitch. Just uh, sneak around these guys. Dual wielding lightsaber guys who just cool. Cause what's better than one lightsaber? Yep. Just like I left it, this Two place is still ultra creepy. torn up pretty badly in there. Oh, he was so brave and ready to prove himself to his father. His father is, was, name and fall. As I said before, he's one of the Dark Honor Guards in the Academy. If you take the Acolyte's remains to his father, I'm sure he'll be grateful. 
That sounds worthwhile. Thank you. It's good to see that there are more feelings embraced by the Sith than just hate and fury. You can find the Acolyte's father outside the chamber of the Dark Council. That's where he stands guard. I have two unread messages as well, so... So, so far this game's been pretty excellent. Um, it's definitely... It's kind of like if Mass Effect was to be WoW, like, is the kind of cross. Like, it feels very WoW, like, the user interface, the controls, everything feels very WoW-like. Um, but obviously, everything else is really cool. Oh, okay, so I'm getting in-game mails off of, um... Okay, that's pretty cool. That's, this is, uh, story choices. Um, and obviously the guys are sending me in-game mails, uh, based on my story choices. So that's kind of cool. What am I looking for here? Control right click to modify. Oh, that's really, really cool. So basically what I do is drag that in there, and that changes the colour of my lightsaber. And what else can I do? So I can add a new hilt like that. I can add another mod like that to add strength. I haven't got anything for that, so... That's really cool. I really like that feature. Okay, so my lightsaber is now like yellow and black. Oh yeah, that is cool. That is very cool. And it adds stats as well, so that means that you can always keep your lightsaber um, without having to change weapons. Um, unlike WoW, you know how you get a really cool weapons? It's like, oh man, this weapon's awesome, and then... Uh, you know, two dungeons later, you have to replace it with something. So, so I just got a Fortitude Enhancement, this adds 7 HP to my lightsaber. I'm sorry, but that's a really, really good idea. Really, really good idea. I suppose you can say it's similar to uh, dual crafting, like adding sockets into stuff, but you know, something that changes the colour or the effect or stats on a weapon is really, really good idea. Really, really happy with that actually. It's very, very cool. Ugh, as places of higher learning go. This one has got to be the scariest. So, what are we gonna do? So, like, so I can scan her. I've been trying to do this quest for ages now. About the purity of people, so I may as well finish it up. See how pure this woman is. Let's go to mission items. Use a scanner. Okay, so that's that quest done. About time. I think. Uh, so I've got to speak to an overseer before. Let's go speak to the overseer then, shall we? Let's see what he wants. up. 
What do you want? I'm training slaves to beat the beasts, and I don't have time to chat. Have you heard of a creature called Serun? Serun? You know of Serun? That creature was close to me when I was an acolyte. It helped me survive my trials. It traveled places I couldn't, told me everything it heard and saw. It had been living off vermin before I came along. I figured out a way to make it healthier, stronger. Serun's special meals. Tell me more of this. Serun never knew exactly what I fed it. Its meals weren't just beast fodder. Serun ate the corpses of the Academy's failures. Ugh. The bones and blood of dead acolytes. Feeding on their energy after death, it grew exponentially more powerful with every meal, and became strong in the dark side. You fed the corpses of dead students to that thing? The sludge we feed to the slaves and the two Carter wouldn't have sated Serun. And bodies pile up quickly here. It was an easy way to dispose of them. When I saw how twisted Serun was becoming, grim. I sent it away. It was becoming hungrier all the time, and I feared it would attack the living. Destroying it seemed impossible. It could heal any injury it suffered. I hoped it would find a new home somewhere. But it seems we must act more decisively. What exactly is your plan? Aid Serun and it will turn on us. One more taste of power and it will begin hunting acolytes. I can't allow that. Together, we must poison Serun. Before I sent Serun away, I developed a powerful toxin. But I didn't have the heart to use it. It won't kill the creature, but it should strip it of its power. So let's say we poison it. What happens to Serun then? My best guess? If we do this, Serun won't survive much longer. It will hide as best it can and slowly starve. But the alternative is to let it become a living horror. Serun needs to become strong. It needs its food. Serun's not loyal to the Sith. Not to me, and certainly not loyal to you. But... I have a degree of loyalty to the creature. If this is what you insist on doing, I'll give you what Serun wants. I am most thankful. This should be what you need. Feed it to Serun, and the creature will have the strength it desires. Let's hope we're not making a mistake. Should be interesting. I feel like this is the first game to like make me feel guilty about my choices. Like I literally like feel a bit sorry that I'm gonna have to kill the thing. Uh, sorry, let it live. Like I didn't want to kill it. I felt that bad. Anyway, back to General Barris. General Barris. Darth Barris. You! Murderer! My father was a staunch traditionalist and he was especially hard on me. But he's my blood. Did you think you could kill him and get away with it? <laughs> I don't actually know who I've killed. Um, refresh my memory. I kill many people's fathers. <laughs> I seek to add insult to injury. I'm Eskla Greiton. My father was Overseer Tremel. Remember killing him? Well, I don't know, but... I am in possession of his ring. See? I'm going to rip that ring from your steaming corpse! I give it to you willingly, Eskela. Here. Great. You think that's going to placate me? You'll rue the day you took his life. Attack! It's a really good idea. So, my companion is pretty strong. I'm sorry, I tried to be nice. I really did. <laughs> 